All right, so I spent a little bit of time wire wheeling this, or not wire wheeling, <laughs> wire brushing this guy. Um, got a lot of the gunk taken off, as you can kind of see underneath the engine. Um, there's actually an engine under all of that. So I'm going to keep plugging away at this and probably start disassembling, but this is video number one of trying to rebuild the 390 Cadillac engine out of our parts car, and I'm going to keep at it and try and record it um, just to see how it goes and as the process continues on. Well, I got the heads off again. I got most of the top end off. Um, you can kind of see the pistons are, are pretty beat up from me and my brother um, breaking it loose here. Uh, but I just started to clean inside of here, and there was a good layer of caked on goop just almost an inch thick on all of this. So I'm just getting some of this cleared off a little bit. I'm obviously going to take this in to get um, really clean when I take the block in to have some machine work done. But um, I just wanted to get some of the caked on gunk and put a little degreaser on it. And, it just makes a world of difference. But I'm gonna keep tearing it down, keep cleaning it up. Um, I gotta figure out how to get the distributor off, but I'll keep plugging away and hopefully we get this thing tipped over and start working on the bottom. Well, I don't know if you can see it much here, but after a little poking around, there's a there's a water drain plug on the side of the block that I'd read about. So nothing came out at first, kind of fished a little wire in there and just kind of scrambled it up a little bit. Um, starting to drip out now. I'll scramble it up a little bit more, but I just wanted to you know, drain the block, you know, I'll tip it a little bit and um, I'll drain the oil out too, just kind of a mix of whatever the hell's in there because it was kind of a mix of antifreeze and diesel and Marvel mystery and oil and God knows what else we put inside of there to try and unfreeze the block up earlier this year. So I'm gonna let that roll and we'll see if we can get this thing drained and see if I can rotate it around. All right, so I got all the pistons off, all the journals off. Um, I haven't seen any real major damage, but I guess I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. You know, nothing looks scored or anything, but, um, you know, it does look pretty beat up. So, crankshaft turns a lot better with all the pistons out, so that's good. Um, kind of got everything set over here. Everything was factory stamped, so I don't have to keep track of which pistons which, um, you know, on the, uh, on the pistons themselves they were stamped and which way was front and rear, so I don't have to keep too good a track of that so I think next I'm gonna get the pulley off um, and then see if I can't get these uh, main bearings out if I can get the main bearing sorry I think that last one kind of cut out I mean basically I was gonna say if I can get the main bearings out um, you know good enough and get the pulley off I think I can pull out the crank so then we'll take a look at it um, see if that's in a good shape or if they got a machine it or anything like that and I get those guys out and then it's on to um, probably the camshaft below and get the lifters out and then I gotta figure something out for you know, under there. I still have the the distributor on, so I figured if I can get at everything underneath, maybe I can get a little more um, pressure on it or, or anything I can figure out to to get it off. But so far, so good. All right, it's a brick wall. Um, I didn't realize you needed a crank pulley tool to actually get the crank off. I thought those bolts were somehow just holding on, but I got the. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it, but I got the bolts out and the little plate that's on there, but apparently I'm going to need some type of tool to, to really get that thing off. So um, we'll have to hold off for, I don't know, a couple days. I can't really drive my car until I get the ball joint fixed because it rides like a death trap and it's going to break any minute now, so I have to get that fixed. Um, I guess we'll just kind of put things on hold for a little bit and I'll order one of those guys up and we'll go from there.